These are the three phases of a narcissistic relationship. Almost everybody is doomed to go through these exact three phases. If you don't with a narcissist, it's because you got out before the other ones happened. One, the love bombing phase. They shower you with affection and admiration, with gifts. They want to see you constantly. They think that you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. And it feels really good to be getting attention from somebody who is successful, is good looking, is charming. If you're going through something in your life, they're the best listener. They're always there for you. But you also, too, in the back of your mind kind of realize this person's really putting me on a pedestal. Like they've only known me for a week and they don't really know me at all. That intuition of yours is exactly right because narcissists are black and white thinkers. People are all good and all bad. And in their mind, they want somebody who swoops in and saves them from their boring, pathetic lives. The problem with this phase is they idolize you so much that you cannot possibly stay at that level because the minute you do something human, the minute you say something they don't like, the minute you do something they don't like, the minute you don't read their mind, you are now in phase two, the devaluation phase. A narcissist starts to realize, oh, this person isn't the answer to all of my life problems. They start to realize that relationships take work and communication. They're not just some fantasy. You will notice an immediate change in their rhetoric, their words towards you, and their actions. They're going to start to pull away. They're going to act weird. They're going to be abusive. This is the phase where their mask slips. It's not off yet, but it slips. You are over here confused, like, this was so great. What happened? I can get this back on track. If I'm just better, then the relationship will go back to how it was. This is the fallacy that the narcissist wants you to believe. Because if you think, what can I do to make this person happy, and you keep in that mindset, you will be serving the narcissist, which is what they've always wanted. They want a servant. They want somebody who blindly worships them, even when they're treating you like trash. But you soon realize nothing you do, no hoops you jump through is enough because the goalpost is constantly changing with them. They're impulsive people. Now you're in phase three, the discard phase. Despite ramping up efforts on your end, you get dumped or they leave you for someone else or they act so atrocious that they force a reverse discard where you have to break up with them.